You know, with summer on the way, we start thinking more about getting active or losing that winter weight. But once you've joined a gym, how important is adjusting your diet? Here with some advice, nutritionist Rachel McKissick from Jets. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is a subject that I could talk about for a very long time, but we've only got five minutes. So do we have to change the way we eat when we begin an exercise routine? Well, I think if weight loss is your goal, then yes. But I think if you're new to exercise, then it's probably better to try and establish a bit of a routine first, something that's realistic that you can commit to. Um, and then once you've, you know, you've got your routine, then start looking at making changes to your diet. Okay. Mm. So when it comes to weight loss, which do you think is more important? Is it the exercise or the food? It's definitely the food. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that saying is true that you cannot out-train a bad diet. You absolutely cannot. I mean, exercise is obviously going to provide you with so many benefits. You're going to get fit. You're going to get strong you're generally going to feel a whole lot better yeah but yeah. if you're not changing what you're eating and maybe eating too much you're never going to lose that the weight. weight is not going to come off is it never. so what what are the biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to their nutrition um, I think it's having an all or nothing approach. You're either all in on a diet or you're all out. You know, yeah. um, I think people think I've got to eat chicken and broccoli for every meal and that's what's going to get the weight off. But you're never going to stick to that long term. No, you're, you're not. Bored really quickly. Um, and then you're basically back to where you started and you're sort of on a yo-yo cycle and you haven't really learned anything from it. Mm. So you go, OK, well, I've eat, opened that packet of Tim Tams. I might as well smash back the whole lot. That's that all or nothing approach, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, yeah, definitely. So, you know, people are a whole lot more successful if they just make small changes to their diet. That you, know. you can actually achieve. And what about the portion size? How important mm. is that? Definitely looking at portion sizes. That's one of the biggest things that you can control and that will obviously help you to be a whole lot more successful in your journey. Mm. Mm. Because I think we probably all eat too much. I know I definitely do. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely, so I've got smaller plates now. Yes, that definitely <laughs> helps. Our, places, all... our plates have grown a lot in size. Yeah, you want to fill them to the edges. Yeah. Um, so what should we eat before we work out and after we work out? Are there specific things we should be looking at? Mm, yeah, definitely. I think it depends a lot on the type of exercise you're doing. Mm. Um, if you're doing sort of lower intensity, you're going out for a walk, maybe you're doing sort of 20 to 30 minutes on the cross train at the gym, then you definitely don't need to fuel up for that. You know, okay. you've got enough stored energy to get you through right. that. So don't feel you you have to eat, otherwise you're going to have a moment. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, everyone's individual, but most people probably don't need to. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing sort of higher intensity exercise, maybe some really heavy weight training or longer duration, then that's when you want to start looking at, you know, having something sort of two hours before. What sort of thing? So something probably carbohydrate and protein based. So even something simple like half a banana and, you know, some Greek yogurt or, or it might have even just been the breakfast you had, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of hours prior. And what about after? You After? Work out. When should you be doing the fueling then? Because I've read things about your muscles need something at certain times. How does that all work? Yeah, definitely the best time to get fuel in after workout is within the 45 minute range of stopping your workout. Um, and an emphasis on protein because we want to start that repair process straight away. Right, so mm. a protein snack or some eggs? Or something? Yeah, eggs is a really good go to. You know, having your eggs on toast with some avocado because you want to pair some carbohydrate in there too. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you know, like a post workout smoothie, just keeping it really simple. Are there certain food groups that are more important when we're exercising or exerting ourselves? Mm. Definitely an emphasis on protein um, because obviously protein is going to help with the repair. It's going to help you to build the muscle, which you know we want mm. that if we're you know doing weight training. Um, and obviously, it's going to help re with recovery, making your muscles less sore as as you work out. Well, that's what we want. Do you think we eat enough protein in our day to day lives generally, or not really? I think most people probably get enough well a lot of people get enough but I think what happens is they don't spread it out through the day so most people have their biggest portion of protein at dinner time mm. whereas they should be having it in small doses right from you know when they wake up okay because lunch off, often gets missed if people get busy doesn't it so it that, does. should be having some protein there too definitely yeah how do you incorporate that in maybe just some chicken in your roll or something absolutely you know put some chicken in you know have some boiled eggs um, you know a high protein Greek yogurt mm. is a really good option as well and there's lots of those around at the moment which are delicious yeah so have you got any advice for eating well over the festive season because this is the time I think when lots of people fall off the wagon. Yes definitely. So I think um, one thing you can do is not go to your events absolutely starving hungry because right. you're going to make a beeline for the snack yep. table. And don't go to the supermarket hungry either. Don't, yep, yep don't go to the supermarket hungry um, and also you know looking at portion sizes overall we can all you know do that um, mm. but also alcohol increases a lot over this time mm. so looking at what you can do to change that you know maybe sort of diluting some of your drinks and making a bit yeah. of a spritzer out of it or yeah. um, you know 
substituting some of those beverages. A little for... bit of balance. Yeah. And then go and just Google how many carbs are actually in your beer. Hey, that's been really great <laughs> having you here, Rachel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, uh, if you want more great advice for your own fitness, you can head to Jets. Find the one nearest you by going to their website, jets.co.nz.